Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Activision Blizzard had its fourth quarter calendar 2018 results conference call just two days ago. This is essentially just a conference call for investors and such to hear how the company did in the last quarter of last year and kind of what they're looking to do in 2019. Obviously the focus here is going to be in Overwatch, but I'm going to be picking some things from this conference call and breaking it down. There's actually some good news, honestly, for Overwatch in here. Let's get started first off 35 million active users across the entirety of Blizzard games. That includes consoles, Battle.net, all of the games on all of the platforms. If I had to guess, a whole lot of those are from Hearthstone due to it being free and available on mobile devices too, and it's still a very active game. However, they do mention that the monthly active users for both Hearthstone and Overwatch have stabilized, but because those are the two ones mentioned mainly throughout this call as well, I assume they are the biggest ones. They were just brought up the most in relation to high login numbers, with a decline in subscriptions and logins for for World of Warcraft, of course. They then go on to talk kind of about microtransactions or in-game net bookings, as they call them. They say that they've, quote, continued to soften, end of quote, as they were not matched with the monthly active user count, both Overwatch and Hearthstone experiencing, quote, sequential declines in net bookings from players making in-game purchases, end of quote. So this part is honestly really good, and I'm surprised not more people kind of mention this. When microtransaction sales go down and just decline overall, and Activision and Blizzard recognize that they will want to do something about it, especially as Call of Duty Black Ops 4 also saw fairly low microtransaction sales at the launch, and they clearly recognize that here, as they have kind of an obligation to tell the investors about developments like these. So just after this, Activision Blizzard COO Cody Johnson adds, Increasing the flow and the frequency of compelling in-game content and upfront releases to serve the needs of our players is the number one goal, set by the Blizzard leadership team going forward. Now, obviously that sentence could be applied to literally any game company at any point in time, so it's a bit of a non-answer. But the fact that he focuses on that, he talks about the decline in microtransaction sales, and soon enough about more interest in development again, the focus is clearly on that. Now again, this could just kind of be some mumbo jumbo to tie into the promise they they made with the layoff saying that they'll focus more on development. It's hard to say, but it could be genuine. And I don't see why they would lie about focusing on that in this situation when they've just laid off a bunch of people as well. This idea for 2019 to be a year focusing on making Blizzard's current games better rather than releasing big new products does seem to be a general theme throughout this call though. I'm interested in seeing what they'll do with that, and I'll get back to that a little bit later in this video. Now this is the part most people have been talking about. It's shortly after this where that number you might have seen go around is mentioned. It's mentioned that Activision Blizzard will have a 20% increase in development resources. There were no specifics given on which products they are going to focus more on in particular, but they did list all the franchises with active development, kinda. Call of Duty, Candy Crush, Overwatch, Warcraft, Hearthstone and Diablo to increase in aggregate by approximately 20% over the course of the coming year. And this is noted as well in their slides and such, that's not just a number they're pulling out of nowhere. They want to put more resources and money towards development. They follow this up by actually saying the Overwatch team is also growing, as it focuses on delivering a significant content pipeline in the coming years. Again, this could be applied to pretty much any time in development, but I'll get back to this in a little bit later just to show how important this part actually is. So they're being very vague with Overwatch overall. And after this, there's just a bunch of corporate talk to improve investors' confidence and such. So nothing too interesting. But with increasing and hiring more for development, we can see that the listings have gone up overall. Since October last year, there's only been about four additions to the job openings list for the Overwatch team. But both the listing for UI and writing have been taken down. So maybe they found someone there, for example. The Q&A part of this call wasn't really too interesting. Interesting. However, there was a mention earlier that they have a lot of new ideas for Overwatch and that, quote, the Overwatch you know is just a small part of the overall franchise, end of quote. And these sort of four or five main points that I mentioned now is really what it's all about. So to summarize for you, Blizzard talk about their declines in microtransaction sales and highlight Overwatch especially there. They also talk about how they want to change their development cycle and that they have a lot of new things in the content pipeline for this year, but they're not being specific there. And I'll tell you why that's good actually, because in previous earnings, calls, not necessarily just the last one for Q3, but definitely earlier in Overwatch, there was a lot of talk about how much money all of the Overwatch seasonal events were making Activision Blizzard, and well, that coming from Blizzard in particular, that was obviously a big focus for Overwatch. Now that those sales are declining, those microtransaction sales, and the events overall, the PR around them and all that stuff is just clearly not as effective, they are shifting focus here. In addition to that, seeing that there actually are some additions to the overall Overwatch team, and 
that Blizzard want to put more money towards that is really good for Overwatch. Now, I wouldn't go as far as saying that this is a step in the right direction, but it's a start for a step in the right direction at least. And as poorly as Blizzard handled the layoffs and all of the negative press about Blizzard and Activision lately that they honestly do deserve as well, this is a bit of a silver lining, but also just good news and the only sort of good news you could see right now for an Overwatch player like you guys or like me. They don't even mention seasonal events at all throughout this entire call actually with Overwatch and they even go into releasing such things as new characters and maps but they don't mention seasonal events. If we could see less seasonal events and a more focus on developing Overwatch and the sort of core franchise there and the core game that would be awesome and that's clearly part of the Blizzard plan for now. So what this leaves us with is Jeff Kaplan and the Overwatch team having to prove themselves to Blizzard and to us with what they can provide. Obviously Activision Blizzard and Blizzard management allowing them to do that, giving them the resources that they need and approving the things that they want to do with the game. In terms of a shift in focus from a senior management standpoint, this is kind of as good as it gets in terms of details on a earnings call, at least for now. So let's hope that something good comes out of this. That's all for this video, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's hope for some good changes to come in 2019 to Overwatch, but yeah, until next time, take care and we'll see you then.